All right. All right, we're back. We're on it. We're going to have a very nice surprise for you guys today. It should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys should uh, like it. We're going to be back in the kitchen with Steven again. So we're going to make the most of it. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully you guys will be too. gonna start off making something you guys are gonna like today. It should be a fun dish. I haven't uh, had it in a long time. I don't know about you guys. All right. So it's gonna be a surprise. Let's see if you guys could uh could figure it out. You guys could guess it. It's not pizza today. We're gonna to do something different. So let's see if you guys could uh could uh figure it out. See if you guys like it. See if you guys have made it. Let's see if you could uh give me any pointers on uh what I might be doing wrong. What uh what you guys might be doing. Some uh some kinks. Some clicks. Some uh some different ways of doing it. There's a million different ways of doing anything. So let's see what you guys got for me today. So, we're going to be making uh, uh, a pretty good dish. I, uh, I tend to like it a, a good amount. Um, it's, a, it's a very, very fun to make. It's a, there's a lot that goes into it, a lot to be prepared, and um, just uh, overall a lot, of, a lot of fun and pretty good to eat. So, hopefully you guys will like it. It's not pizza. It's, it's a type of chicken. Let's see if uh, we got any guesses. If you guys know. You guys might know. We'll see. I don't know, but we'll take it from there, see what you could do. So you guys, you guys know what the very first thing to do is, right? Very first thing we got to do is wash our hands. Got to get them all ready. Got to get them all ready. Doesn't like when I go sideways. Doesn't want to stick though. So first and foremost, we're gonna wash these bad boys. Get them all clean. Don't know where we've been. Don't know what we touch. But got to keep them clean. So get them a little, a little wet. Throw some soap on there. Get them nice and wet. In between those fingers. Those nails. Get the wrist. Can't forget the wrist. Most important part. Most important part to our day. Some of this off. Oh man, I'm getting soaked. Can't get soaked if uh, you're not clean. Like that, getting those hands all clean. Get, get all that soap and dirty and water off. Look at that. Now we're cooking. Oh crap. I made coffee and I forgot. Gotta have our morning cup of joe. Alright. Doing good. <laughs> so. We're gonna have some fun. Got these hands all wet. 
Still drying them. Use a new paper towel so it's nice and clean. We don't get any of this uh, this dirt and filth on anything. Got all got to get all this corona off of me and stuff. So we're doing good. Doing good. Doing good. 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 All right. It's gonna be a fun day in paradise, guys. Still kind of warm. Just working in the kitchen, getting ready for you guys. You know how we do. We're out here every day, making stuff for you guys. You know. Ah, nice. Back in business. Got some coffee, and now we're we're ready to make some some chicken. Now, when making chicken, there's a lot of different ways to make it. There's a lot of different ways that could go into it to make it, and there's a lot of different types of chicken. A lot of different ways to cook it. A lot of different ways of doing everything. So, uh, what, what's your favorite way of doing it, guys? How do you like to do it? What are some things you like to do within it? Uh, there's there's plenty of different ways to do it, but you know what? Everyone does it a little differently. And you know what? We got tons and tons of different ways that you might have chicken. So let's just uh, let's brainstorm, take a couple thoughts out. What, what, uh, what are some things that you guys like to do with chicken? I know um, little kids. Little kids are always loving the chicken nuggets, the animal, the animal pictures of the chicken nuggets and whatnot. You got... Uh, Got grilled chicken, got breaded chicken. There's so many different, so many different ways to go with it. So it's all really up to you. It's a, it's a, it's a part of preference. It's what, however you like it. So today I thought I'd do a little something special for you. You don't really see it much. Um, I haven't seen it very often in a while. So I thought it might be uh, something fun, something fun for to show you guys and get it all going together. So. So, um, waiting on, uh, your feedback a little bit, but, um, I was thinking, um, what I will be doing today is it's one of my favorites, I guess you could say, um, something I really like. So I thought, uh, I try making it for you guys. So we're going to see how it goes. Should be a lot of fun and, uh, it's going to be a good, good, uh, good takeover. We're going to make it happen. So if, uh, let's see if any, any of you guys could have guessed. What kind of chicken do you think I would be making today? I don't, I don't eat it very often. I don't think anyone's ever uh, seen me eat it. I can't even remember the last time I actually ate it. So, and um, we're we're doing it nice and fresh for you guys, right? Um, ready to go. So you know, should be a lot of fun. And we're gonna make the most of it. Um. This chicken, I guess it would be known as um, like a French dish, um, maybe from like a French restaurant or something in, uh, the, along the lines of that, but it, a lot of times it's known as a, a dish from the French, so it could be very different. Um, another two ingredients that it might have in it that um, hopefully it doesn't give it away, hopefully it gives you guys a little bit of a hint there. A little something to help you guys out, but we'll see how it goes. So, I was thinking, uh, in this dish, I like to add two other things to it, two other ingredients that are pretty, um, pretty known. A lot of people like them, and uh, they're in a lot of things that we might cook, or they might be very, um, very open where people know what they are. They might not like them, but we got, we got a, we got some cheese. We got some cheese. We might put in it. So there's a lot of different. T- a lot of different chicken types that you might add cheese to or you might have cheese in. A couple different things like that. And another thing that was going into it, so that was the first thing. And you know what? Just within uh, the cheese category, 
There's dozens and dozens of cheeses. We could go forever talking about just the cheeses, but we're going to keep it, keep it, keep it simple for today. We're going to go with a couple different cheeses, but we're also going to do ham, ham, prosciutto, however you might like it. So, um, does that help you guys at all? Does that give you any hints? Does that give you, give you any, um, idea on what, what might be uh, cooking today? Margaret, you're incredible. She knows everything. Um, she got it. <laughs> Chicken cordon bleu. You know it. Perfect. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get on to our next thing. So let me flip this camera around. Hold on. Doesn't want to work. Oh, there we go. So just to let you guys know, there's there. This isn't very traditional recipe on uh, how I'm doing it. It's kind of kind of my view. So look, we got some chicken. We got some chicken. We got some cheese, and we got some uh, prosciutto, some ham, some different type of ham. So first thing we'll start off with is, well, we got a couple different types of cheese, and uh, for today. My favorite is Swiss, but I know um, a lot of a lot of people like a lot of different cheeses. So I figured, well, uh, I got a couple different cheeses. We could always mix and match. We could go different things. So I got some pepper jack, um, some Swiss cheese, some cheddar. So we're doing good today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So first thing is, look, we got some chicken, some chicken breast, nice chicken breast. So that's all we're gonna need for now. Now from there, we're gonna do the seasoning. We want them very thin though. See how thin they are? We're, we're trying to keep them very, very thin. We want to we wanna get it very nice and ready to go. And that's a pretty good way on how I was uh, thinking about doing it. So let's see. First thing we're going to start off with is we're going to do a little bit of seasoning. We're going to season these things. So here's a couple of the seasonings that I decided to choose. So we have some lemon pepper. Roasted garlic powder. So I'm going to put them on right away and we'll get going. Lemon pepper is never too bad. The more the merrier. So we got some roasted. We got lemon pepper. We got some roasted garlic. Onion powder. White pepper. And last but not re last but not least, we have some paprika. So just a little bit. Now we're gonna try to try to mix them around. Trying to get um trying to mix it all around so that everything is flat and ready to go. Make sure they're very flat, try to get some of this out of here. We're gonna get the seasoning in there, mix it in, rub it in, make sure it gets in there, and then we're gonna move on to the cheese. All right. Wash. All right, so now since we touched all that, uh, that chicken, that raw chicken, we're gonna have to rinse our hands again again. We're gonna make sure we got these all clean. With all that raw chicken, we don't want to touch anything else, contaminate everything, so it's going to be very bad. Alright. Next thing. So 
So we're going to get this oil on, get that going. Going to get that on high, sit on low. Medium to high heat for this, that's where we're going with it. Next thing, since we got the seasoning done, we got the seasoning on, we're gonna go for some cheese. So, it's up to you guys, however you might wanna do it. I like to do a little something uh, how I like it. So, let's. Uh, we're gonna start with some pepper jack. We're gonna put a piece of the pepper jack on. And I like to do a piece of prosciutto, and then we're gonna do the um, cheese again. So that should be pretty good. We gotta be very delicate with this. This is very fragile, starting to rip on me. But we're gonna make the most of it. Right, so now we're, we're gonna go for one more piece of that. Put that right on. And cold blue jack, we're gonna put that on. Gonna put this piece of prosciutto on. And we're gonna go back for another Kobe Jack. Put that right down. Now we got some Swiss. We'll do Swiss next. Do Swiss with some prosciutto. Nice, nice, nice. Go another piece of Swiss over that. Last but not least, we're going with some cheddar. Some cheddar cheese. Got our last piece of prosciutto. Perfect. Cheddar, see? We're almost there. We're still going. So, now that we did that, we did the ham. We're, we're, we're cooking, we're, we're in business. So, if you guys ever know, if you guys have ever made this, you know the next thing we gotta do is we gotta roll it up and we're gonna let them sit for a second. We're gonna let them chill. So, we're gonna take a piece of, piece of, I keep thinking tin foil, it's not tin foil, it's saran wrap. So, let me take one of these pieces. So, I'll start over here, show you guys easier. So look, we're gonna roll this up a little bit. I want to be very delicate with the chicken and everything. Roll that up. Put that right in the middle of this. Then, with the paper, we're going to roll it once again. And from there, look, we're going to roll it. to the next one. So, pull this piece of chicken up. I'm gonna roll this right on in. Another one going. Got to do this to all of them. All your chicken cordon blues. You want to make sure they're in there, and they're snug and they're tight. We're gonna make sure that this is working. Want to keep them rolled up.
good. Another one down. And on to my last one. So, got one more piece of paper. Doing pretty good with the paper. Perfect. Chicken's a little slimy, so you gotta be careful with it. I don't want to sliding all over the place, falling out of your hands. I want to make those tight. Perfect. Now I want to get some of this chicken grease off of me, so I'm going to rinse Rinse my hands once again. Make it quick. All right, so since I washed my hands about a dozen times. We, we're going to hope that they're going to be a little bit cleaner. But we're never too sure. We, we touch a lot of bad things, a lot of things that we shouldn't be touching. So we're going to make sure these things are nice and clean so we can move on to the next thing. And um, after we just rolled all those, all those um, chickens, we're going to put them in uh, the freezer. We're putting them in the freezer for now to help you guys out. But normally, it's only going to be about for... It's only going to go in the fridge for about a half hour. We're going to try doing the fri the freezer for about 15 minutes. Try to speed things up for you guys. And we'll see how it goes from there. So, we got three steps. We got some flour, which is step one. We got the eggs, which I still have to do is step two. And we got, this is cool, the <laughs> breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs is gonna be step three. So, so first thing we gotta make sure we do is we wanna season Season the breadcrumbs and the flour. So we got the same seasonings that we used last time. Now we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on here. We're gonna use a little bit more rather than we did for the chicken breasts, but that's because all the chicken breasts are gonna go through these two little, two little uh, steps in order to make it through. So, roasted garlic pepper we're gonna start off with. All right, so we finish with that one. Lemon pepper. We're not gonna do a lot of the lemon pepper. We're only gonna do a little bit of this stuff. That looks like it's pretty good. Good. On to the next one. We got some onion powder. Add some nice flavor in. Gonna put a good amount of that in. So we're all good. On to the next one. White pepper pretty good add a little bit of that add a little bit of that and we're we're in business guys last but not least can't forget about that paprika gonna use some good amount of that paprika going in there you know what maybe a little bit more all right so we got that everywhere so step one flour Step two, eggs. Step three. Well, step three is gonna be for this uh, 
for the breadcrumbs. So I gotta crack the eggs. We're gonna whisk it all together. And uh, that's gonna be our next, next task. So what do I do with my whisk? Put it down somewhere. <coughs> <coughs> Spoon. And now fork. Fork will work a lot better. Mm -hmm. So, just mix some of these up quick. So these are the breadcrumbs with some of the seasoning. You just want to make sure that you get that seasoning all around. So the the first couple aren't the going to be the only ones to get it. So that's looking pretty good. You could see the color. The color had blended. Now, whereas when you're looking at this one, you see how the color is all in there. You can see the differences in color. We're going to try to make that one. So let's get this flour going. Jobbing it up. We're doing good. We're making. We're cooking. clean that wouldn't work out too well all right so the next thing is going to be the eggs we're going to take these eggs we're going to break them and we're going to mix them up so all right very good so thinking so we got two take these out I'm gonna crack that right here sometimes you gotta double check to make sure there's no no none of that uh, none of the egg crumbs in it I don't think so I think I did pretty good on that one we're gonna go for round two See how round two goes. We're gonna hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. You know how it goes. Most that we could do. So. Nice, two for two. We're doing good, look at that. Oh man. Now we got one more. Get this third egg. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Oh man, who knew Steven could crack eggs so good? Maybe I really am a chef. So we're gonna whisk this around. Get these, get these eggs jumping, get them moving, get them going, just like you guys should be doing. Whenever we're mixing things around, get a couple jumping jacks in there. Do a couple things, do some exercises. We wanna be moving like the yolk. See that thing? See it jiggling around? It's jiggling, it's wiggling, it's doing good. We're making some, some nice, nice things. So we made this delicious looking sauce over here, I do have to say. It's not done yet, but we're, we're working it. We're working our way around. Okay, so that's all good. Hold on. So we're gonna put this to the side. Perfecto. All right, we're doing good. So, make so we're making the sauce now. So we're doing good. We made the sauce. 
Right, we'll bring it around to the other side of the kitchen. Oops. Can't forget our seasoning. So let's make sure we got this right one off. We're gonna do that on about medium. A little bit of schmedium going on over there, so not so bad. We're gonna add some of this nice little butter in. Butter is always a great thing for you, it's very healthy. We wanna make sure we all get our daily serving of the butter in. So, just a little bit of the butter, not much. It'll, it'll work its way around there. And let that sit. And I'll let that melt. Alright, so we're doing good on that. I'm gonna let this butter keep going. Ooh, look at that nice butter juice. I'm liking it. Looks good. Just wanna drink it. Got the fan on, cooking, cooking big things. Cooking right out of the pot. Making that nice little creamy butter sauce. It's going good. Looking finito. Perfecto. Let's whisk this around a little bit, trying to get that going. Maybe it might help if I stop moving the, the pan from the heat and start moving the, the butter over the heat. So we want to get this all dissolved we want to get that liquidy so that the next step that we're going to be doing is adding a little bit of flour to it that was my next step so it should be pretty pretty good we're waiting for this thing to melt a little bit it's doing good so we're doing good it's coming in nice all right so we're gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of flour. Let's add some of this, see this? We got some nice flour in there. So we're gonna add that right in. So we're stirring that around. Sometimes people like to do it to uh, stir it around. Look at that creamy sauce. We like it thick. We want it thick, thick, thick. So now we're gonna add a little bit of milk. A little, little bit. We're not gonna add too too much, but we're gonna do it very, very slowly because we we want to see that creamy sauce get thick, thick, thick. So you know what? Pull my whisk down. So just a tiny bit. All right, so now we gotta mix that up. We're mixing, we're mixing, mixing it all up right in that pot. You see that? We want it thick, gotta get it thick. We gotta keep stirring, keep ladling. We're gonna add some more. Gonna add some more while we're still spinning. Let's 
See, you like that sauce? You like the way it looks? It looks like milk. That's what we we're going for. We need some better milk. Now we'll add some uh, seasoning in. And paprika. We got the seasoning in, into this milky, buttery sauce as well. We're going to get it all out on the table right now. Add some of that garlic. Some of that onion powder. Nice, it's coming along. We're doing good. Doing real good. Look at that sauce. Nice and creamy. Trying to get that thick. Thick, thick. But we're making it. It's getting there. It's coming along. It's came a long way so far. We started with nothing, if you think about it. There were all just a bunch of things laying around in the kitchen. <laughs> no. We had to go get them. Well, you guys know what I mean. Little things laying around until you start doing things with them. So we're going to let that simmer for a second, because that's doing pretty good for now. So, I'm going to put this down. So, is that good? A little higher? So that looks like it's simmering. Good? I think so. That's pretty good. Got a little something here for you. So these have been sitting in the in the freezer for about say 20 minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer. Well, they're they're pretty they're nice and hard right now. So the next thing we're gonna start to do is they're firm. Excuse me, I said hard. They're not really hard. They're they're more so of a, a type of firm, and uh, that's what we want to do. We want to cool. We want them chilled. We want to make sure that they're gonna get the the right feeling and be able to stick pretty good to get it through some of these seasonings. So, that's going to be the next thing that we're going to do. So, let me, sorry, I'm having a little uh, trouble getting some of these off, but it's alright. We don't need any of this, it's all garbage, so. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> Not yet. So. these two out so they're nice and firm I like it they're doing good they're doing really good really 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 good so I'm gonna bring these right around so we're gonna do the flour we're gonna start with the flour first and we're gonna work our way over it. so kind of get it in this flour rub it around a little bit get it all over nice so that was good. Now, feels pretty good. You can take a look at that. You see how it, uh, see how it's all covered? We got no meat. Perfect. So next thing, let's get the eggs. Let's roll these around. Nice, 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 nice. We're doing good. Now, quick, quick, quick. Got to get into this next one. Let's get some of these beans around. Oh, look at that. That's looking delicious already. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh man, so I just want to make sure we got this everywhere, did pretty good on that one, so that came out pretty good comparable to the other one, so we're going to start on this next one. I had these prepared, ready to go so that we could show you what the next step was. The other ones are still cooling, they're still chilling, they're chilling out there in the fridge, so they're doing good, But so that's all good, I like the way that looks. Now let's get it through some of this egg, some of this nice, nice egg. It's coming out good, pretty good. Now, quick, 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 can't forget, got to get it right in here. These breadcrumbs. Very good. So, it's okay. The only reason why it is okay is because we're cooking it. 
we weren't cooking it, we shouldn't use the same plate. But we did. And good good uh good idea for next time, just so you guys know. So that was pretty good. Got a bunch of these breadcrumbs all over my hands. We're gonna wash those right away. After touching raw chicken like that, you can't really be uh you don't want to be touching everything else in the kitchen. That's never good. Yep, so we got another plate. Got another plate. This plate. Alright. So. The next thing is going to be with this oil. This oil, we're going to be testing it. So we put oil in the pan because now we're going to be... It's almost like deep frying it, I want to say. So that should be pretty, be pretty good. So, do you guys know how to test the oil now? I don't know if you do. So let's take a look. So look, this is some oil we got in the pan. That's the oil I got in the pan. And we're going to test it. And we want to see if it's ready and uh, ready to put some of this chicken in. So, I got a handy dandy wooden ladle. Wooden spoon, whatever you might want to call it. However you might go. I am going to put this into the pan. I'm going to put this end of the stick into the pan and see if we get bubbles. If there's bubbles around the spoon, we know it's going to be ready. So, can you guys see those bubbles? Those are pretty good. I don't know if you can see those hissing from the camera. I'm sorry. It's very blurry. I can't tell. I, I, I'm starting to see a bubble. I'm hoping you guys can. All right, fantabulous. So that's good. So put that off to the side. Now, next duty of business, we're gonna drop some of these chickens right on in. Chicken cordon bleu, we're gonna put it right in. And I'm just gonna drop it right on in there. So, can I, we're gonna use these because this grease is gonna be hot, hot, hot. So, we got that. Perfect. Look at that. We're cooking. We're cooking now. Let's get this other one in. Perfect. So, we're going to turn this up just a tad. Just a little bit. Not too much. And now we got to keep a nice little eye on these chickens. All right, so we're doing good with those. We're gonna let those sit for a second. We're gonna let them simmer, and then all of a sudden we're gonna start to start to turn them, start to make sure that they all are gonna be cooking good, cooking evenly, cooking nice and firm. That's what we're going for. And you you know when they're really ready is when they turn that golden brown color. That's that's the way of uh, the word of reason. How to know when uh. They're top notch. And uh, that's what we're going for. We want this grade A material. So, while we're letting these sit, we can check back on this sauce. This sauce is looking pretty good. It's coming out not too bad. We got some sauce cooking and we got some chicken cordon blue. See if the sauce is ready. Oh, look at that. Oh man. So 
So, we're cooking. We're going to try spinning these a little bit. They look like they're going to be starting to do good deeds. Oh, yeah, that's golden. That's golden like Pony Boy over there. Nice. We're going to try to keep these in the middle of the pan. Try to get them nice and even. Oh, can't even see them. Sorry. But we're doing good. We're doing good. That's all that matters. It's coming. It's coming right along. It is certainly coming right, right along. Da 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 da. All right. So this sauce is done. So we're gonna hit this. Off, complete day, all done, capiche, there we go, on to the next. So, we're done with some sauce, and you know what, let's keep going, we're still waiting on these, we can do some others. Hold on, I think, I think these are starting to get a little brown, woo-wee, side, so we're going to go sides now, because, uh, you know, the, the bottom is... I'm gonna wanna go a little bit more. So, take some of these. So these are my other couple. Hmm. So, these were the four that I just did for you. Now, we're going to do them again. Same process, over. They're all chilled. They're pretty firm. They're feeling nice and good. So, that's not too bad. So, literally same process. Let's get the flour in there. Rub it around in all that flour. Next, we're going to the egg. Get the rubbing around in all that egg. Get those juicy eggs golden. And then breadcrumbs. Open up these. Get some good breadcrumbs in. Alright, so now that we got the breadcrumbs rubbing and dubbing around, doing great. Doing excellent. Rub, 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 rubbing it all around. So, get that egg up in there. Rub, 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 rubbing it all around. We're just going to keep doing this until we're all out of those chickens. We love these chickens, these chicken chickens. So, keep rubbing it. Make sure you get some flour all around there with the seasoning. Now we're going in. Let's get some of this up. Yep, get all that egg around there. We want to make sure this is soaked so that uh, it sits to this, the breadcrumbs much, much better. So that's what we're going for on this. See, the little bit better I let that choke, the better it 
the better it came. Finito. Look at those. Look at those breadcrumbs. So I'm wash my hands. Look at that. Alright, so I'm just drying my hands real quick. Touching everything in sight with them. Alright, so right before I, I put the rest on, look what I got here. We got the sauce. Woo -wee. Look at that. Beautiful. Take this one off. All done. And for some sauce. Ooh Look at that final product, guys. That came out delicious. Oh, man. That looks good. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. Look at how good those came out. So I'm going to add those other couple on. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a blast. It's been a pleasure. Glad to cook with you guys. So um, happy, happy I could do it. And I'm um, happy I was able to help you guys out with it. So it should be a lot of fun. So we're all good. That was the meal. We got a couple more to make today. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, it's been a pleasure. Hopefully you guys are all safe and sound. And uh, whatever you need, we're here for you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.